Julia Roberts is one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood and we can also tell she's a real estate lover, owning beautiful properties all over from Malibu to Hawaii and more. Earlier this year she paid millions for a historic home in San Francisco and continues to maintain a main estate in Point Du, Malibu. Some of Julia's other luxe residences are located in Manhattan and New Mexico and that's not even all of it. Today we'll take a look at a few of her beautiful mansions, we even found some of the listings. Julia Roberts is an A-list Hollywood actress and producer. She established her leading lady status in 1990 with Pretty Woman, which grossed $464 million worldwide. She's won three Golden Globe Awards over her career and been nominated for four Academy Awards, winning one for Best Actress for her performance in Erin Brockovich. I can't say there's a Julia Roberts movie I don't like. I've long been a fan of the actress and I swear her smile just lights up any screen. Julia was the highest paid actress in the world throughout most of the 90s and and the first half of the 2000s, and I'm not surprised. Besides that, People Magazine has named her the most beautiful woman in the world, a record five times too. Julia has amassed a current estimated net worth of about $250 million, which has paid for a ton of beautiful properties for her and her family to live in over the years. In fact, she's owned so many gorgeous homes, it's hard to keep up. That's why we'll be looking at only a few of them. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys requested this one, and I was more than excited to report on Julia Roberts' homes because she's one of my favorite actresses. She's long owned an eco-friendly mansion in Malibu, which remains her main residence, but she keeps it pretty private. We'll take a look at that, her other Malibu properties, a new home in San Francisco she bought, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Angelina Jolie and Denzel Washington, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Earlier this year, Julia and her longtime husband Danny Motor sold one of their spare homes in an off market deal. Yes, I told you she loves real estate so much that they just have spare houses laying around. This place was located in Point Du Malibu, the celeb favored neighborhood where Julia owns her main mansion, as well as reportedly another property. The one Julia recently sold lies directly across the street from her larger longtime main residence. She offloaded the ranch style home for $8 million in an off market deal to Silicon Valley based hedge fund tycoon Thomas Lafort, who also owns the house right next door. Julia purchased the place five years back for $6.84 million. The one acre property is certainly not jaw dropping like we can imagine her main mansion to be, and it's unlikely that Julia and her hubby ever even spent a night in the home. It's a modest cottage style residence spanning 1,770 square feet with hardwood floors and exposed beam ceilings throughout. There are a total of four cozy bedrooms and three bathrooms, as well as a living room with a brick fireplace. This casual beach bungalow doesn't have a traditional front door, instead guests must enter through a sliding door that opens right into an informal dining area. There's also a medium grade kitchen with stainless steel appliances and a gated entry to ensure privacy. Although the home may seem rather small and unassuming, it's on a desirable and ritzy enclave which justifies a steep price. Outside on the grounds, there's a large field, gardens and riding ring, and lounging area for unwinding. Since we're already looking at Julia's Malibu real estate, let's talk about her main mansion. Unfortunately, since she bought the house back in 2003 and started completely fresh, there are no photos of the interior. Yep, Julia keeps her family home as private as it gets. At the time of purchase, the estate cost her $6.4 million and it's in the same fancy pants neighborhood of Point Du Malibu, of course right on the water. Julia tore down the 6,000 square foot home that existed and constructed an eco-friendly mansion in its place, powered by solar panels. It sits on a spacious acre of land and has steps leading down to a private beach and the beautiful ocean. Considering she got the property completely rebuilt, it came with an estimated price tag of $20 million in total. The mega mansion looks more like a resort from aerial views, and the greenhouse also has energy saving appliances. Apparently her home features 5 beds and 6 baths, but square footage looks like it's likely bigger these days. From the street there's no sight of the mansion, security is legit, but the wooden gate alone is beautiful. The exterior of Julia's home also looks unique with a beach vibe thanks to the wooden beams lining the roof. The interior of the home is truly a mystery, but we have another house to look at instead. In 2015, Julia and Danny purchased yet another Point Du 
new house, again just a walk away from the other residences she owned there. This time it was a fixer-upper costing the couple $3.9 million. At the time, there were no interior images of the home, likely because it wasn't yet in a Hollywood condition. Not even close. After it was renovated, she actually listed the home for rent at 10.5k per month. I gotta admit, it would be pretty cool to have Julia as your landlord and your next door neighbor. Anyways, once the home was presentable, the ranch style space offered beam ceilings and hardwood floors with a living room containing a white brick fireplace. The entire 1,820 square foot house came unfurnished to rent as well and had three beds and one bath, but it looks like Julia added a second bathroom during the remodel. The Eden kitchen had a white brick wall and new stainless steel appliances and a wood top center breakfast island. They kept the blue-gray paint on the exterior of the home, which is unique to say the least, and the property also has a small green guest house and two-car garage. Sadly, there's no pool on the one-acre property, but it does however come with the key to the gates of Malibu's Riviera One Beach, also known as Little Doom. Most recently, Julia set her sights on San Francisco. Now, as you probably know, San Fran real estate is super expensive to say the least, but for Hollywood royalty like Miss Roberts, any price tag is possible. Earlier this year, the actress bought a century-old Victorian Revival-style house in the Presidio Heights neighborhood of San Francisco for $8.3 million according to property records. The prime location offers views of the San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge right from her new place, and the area is known for its high-end family homes. The five-floor house was designed around 1907 and of course renovated since, featuring all the modern amenities for today's lifestyle while keeping some classic details. Inside, the home spans 6,245 square feet with five beds and 4.5 baths. The home has a partial slate roof and was remodeled by interior designer John Wheatman in recent times. The main level offers a large entry with leaded windows as well as a living room with fireplace and built-ins. On this floor, you'll also find a formal dining room and the custom kitchen with marble counters, gas stove, top-grade appliances, walk-in pantry, and breakfast bar. There's also a wet bar, wine fridge, and desk area. And off of the kitchen, you'll find a back hallway with stairs to the upper floors too. Honestly, these homes always blow my mind because they don't look as spacious from the outside, but inside they are hiding a mansion-sized space. The second floor of the home has a total of four beds and two baths. The south bedroom offers a fireplace and the north bedroom boasts views of the bay and golden gates, as well as a sun porch. However, you also get this view from multiple rooms in the home. Moving up to the next floor, you'll find the glorious master suite with more A-plus views and a walkout balcony and skylight. There's also a dressing room, a walk-in closet, and a large remodeled bath with split vanities. Other features of her San Fran home include a two-car garage and a mid-floor area with skylight that can be used as an office area and another large guest or bonus room here as well. And I'm not done with the floors yet, so hold up. Moving down from the kitchen, the level below offers a screening room as well as a full bath, 1,000 bottle wine cellar, mudroom, and the laundry room. Designer barn doors lead to the lowest level, which at this point is starting to sound like an underground bunkie, but nevertheless, here you'll find a built-in dog bath and French doors out to the garden. The lowest levels of the house have additional storage spaces throughout. Julia's San Fran home has a rear patio and garden, as well as a deck with barbecue, but considering the location and style of the place, there's little room for much else outside. At this point, we've taken a look at the luxurious properties of Julia Roberts and where she calls home with her fam, including her cliff top spread and Malibu, with two places she doesn't even live in, and her newly acquired San Francisco home. Julia already has all she needs at her sprawling craftsman-style mega mansion in Malibu, but these are far from the only property she owns. Her and her husband also own a nearly 100-acre ranch near Taos, New Mexico, where they got married in 2002, and a real estate foothold over in New York City with three apartments in a posh building in Manhattan's Gramercy Park. She also owns the deeds to a multi-acre vacation getaway in the dreamlike coast of Hawaii. That's how you know you've made it. If I missed any of Miss Julia Roberts' properties, be sure to let me know. From what you did see, what did you guys think? I totally want to see the inside of her mysterious main mansion in Malibu, but I guess that's not happening anytime soon. Anyways, be sure to tell me your favorite Julia home below or what you like best about her real estate. Keep the suggestions coming for whose house tour we should bring you next on this channel because I love all the ideas. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!